Today on How To, we are joining Kate Keith of Wild Rose Glass on Harker's Island to learn all about stained glass and their 30 years of history within the business. So thanks for having us, Kate. Yeah, um, mom's here in the back working on some stuff and Chris is outside wrangling the dogs and we just live here and make art. <laughs> we do customs, we do repairs, we teach make and take classes. So I get to see students learn and like, that inspires me each time. It's it's not really a shop, but you can shop here. Yeah. It's a studio, it's a working space, it's a family, it's a home. Mm -hmm. And we gotta touch upon the 30 years of the family business. Yes. <laughs> Where your mom and dad both going to art school, how did it kind of come to be? Actually, mom and dad were hardware salesmen. They had a hardware, Keith's hardware, and a Ram store North Carolina, and then Dad always knew how to cut glass because they had to do home glass. And so he tried to do so many roses. And that's, mom, mom's called them wild rose. So <laughs> that's kind of where the name came from. So this is one of the originals. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So it's, it's pieced together. It's a few pieces yeah. and it's kind of got bent over the years. Yeah. <laughs> but we hang it up to kind of remember. And that's how they got their name. I can't wait for you to teach me mm -hmm. how to do our mahi design today. So. What is the first step after picking your design? But basically, the next step is the hardest. Okay. If you're a colorist, if you're someone who struggles with trying to figure out color. That might be my problem. <laughs> so I never rush anybody on this step. I always say, let it speak to you. Because yeah. you'll find a piece of glass that you really love. So you can kind of move stuff around. You can flip it. As long as you get that piece on there, mm -hmm. and you can move it all the way to the edge, for example. So you use a sharpie to outline it and then mm -hmm. you can cut it into that exact piece. Yeah. So you're going to start from the edge and you're going to put enough pressure to hear that sound. There we go. Okay. Now you can see your line starting at the end versus at the beginning because you didn't really know how much to push. Perfect. Yes. Ooh. That's perfect. Yeah. Make sure you put your thumb beside of it or else it might pop off this whole part. Like the, right here? Yeah. Get it right in there. and. And that's okay. <laughs> now you can see there's gaps in there, but that's because we might need to edit it a little bit. And we'll also see things shrink together and fit together better once we start doing the grinder. Chris, so what is the next step? All right, we're gonna take the glass pieces that you just cut out and we're gonna take them to our grinder and grind down the edges so they're nice and smooth and they'll take our copper foil to them. Perfect. Copper foil tape. This is what we're gonna put around each piece of glass and that is what accepts the solder so it holds together. All right, now we have to put it together. So the foil has copper on it, which binds everything together. Um, the lead that we're gonna use is um, half lead, 50% lead, 50% tin, and that is gonna be attracted to the copper. But the first thing we need to do before we even think about soldering is we have to add a little bit of flux. It is basically like a primer for the copper. It's gonna clean the surface and allow the lead mixture to go right to it. But we are just gonna put a little bit where everything goes and then we're gonna fill in any little gaps. So once we get it nice and wiped off, this patina is gonna happen pretty much immediately. And what we do is we put it on there and the acid already starts to eat at it. You see that? I'm gonna try to brush it. You can kind of scrub it in there gently. Kate and Chris, thank you so much for showing me how to make a stained glass piece. This was so much fun. And if people want to also participate in a make and take class, where can they go? They can email us, email us at wildroseglass at gmail.com or we're on Facebook. You can reach out there um, or you can give us a call. And we're on Harker's Island and we're just in the back of our house and we make art and that's what we do. So we'd love to have you. Um, anybody can do it and it doesn't take too long. It doesn't. Thank you so much. And y'all, make sure to come back to Halloween C every weekday for a new how-to to see what other new things we're getting up to. Yeah.